Hey guys, we're back with a different kind of movie over here, or kind of quick going through a movie again, but for this time it's a very different movie. Rather than having a character correlated with it like the rest, this is just a, uh, well, a limited edition one, which is slightly different. Uh, Ghost Brawl characters, and uh, well, the story isn't from it, isn't released related to any, I don't believe. Let's get right into this. Midnight at the graveyard. Fog lingers at the wrought iron gates as four drunken teens climb over and drop to the ground, assembling and laughing. They sneak past rows of headstones, cracking a few more beers in the darkness. The fog clears ahead to reveal a steaming, open grave. The coffin weathered, the lit askew. The girls want to go back to the bonfire party where they left. Or, they left. But the boys won't be swayed. The lid is practically off. Anyways, Mark and Eric throw it open as Jackie and Maureen scream. Jackie is relieved when she opens her eyes to an empty coffin, save for a pair of moldy old slippers. She so begs Maureen to head back to the party with her. Mark teases the scared girls. Eric stabs, or grabs, not stabs, no, I don't think any murder is happening yet. Grabs Jackie from behind, coaxing her to stay with him. Maureen slams her beer and impulsively grabs the slippers out of the coffin. As Mark cheers her on, but the lid stamps closed. The ground shakes and groans violently. The teens, uh, the four teens, bolt for the gate, slippers still in hand, terrified to look back towards the growing sound of earth exploding and shifting. Eric trips and screams, a biting pain rips through his ankle. Flashlight blinds the terrified teens, adjusting to reveal an angry old grave digger. Er, yeah, grave digger. The gate hangs open behind him. Mark calls Eric up on his twisted ankle as the girls rush out of the gate. The teens sprint for the woods, rushing back to the safety of the party. Far from the graveyard, the teens begin to relax, comforted by the loud music and the glow of a large bonfire ahead. The party is crowded, and soon Jackie loses sight of her friends. Eric's showing off the slippers to the party goers. Where are, where are Mark and Maureen? On the edge of the woods, Mark and Maureen kiss passionately, tumbling to the ground in nervous laughter. Maureen suddenly screams in pain and begs Mark to stop. He is confused until the ground explodes beneath him, bony hands grabbing his legs. He screams in agony, blood spreading from his missing extremities as his feet disappear into the earth. A bloody Maureen stumbles from the forest. Shaggy sees her and screams as she realizes Maureen is missing a foot. Maureen falls forward, revealing her cracked and chewed skull. Jackie runs back to the crowd, desperate to find Eric. She begs to leave, at, leave, but Eric wants to find Mark. They argue. Eric storms away from Jackie, but doesn't get far. A skeleton hand bursts through the, the soil and trips him. Jackie screams and rushes out. The arrow opens up to swallow Eric from the waist down. When a hand grasps Jackie's heel, she slips out of her shoe, a set of black teeth consuming it whole. She runs for her life. Eric's lifeless torso left in the dirt. Jackie rushes back into the crowd, screaming for everyone to take off their shoes. They laugh at her until another victim screams. In the panic, Jackie spots the slippers on the picnic table, but is caught in the mass exodus. People rush for the few remaining vehicles, desperate to leave. Jackie finally grasps the slippers and sprints for the tailgate of the last pickup, disappearing down the dirt road. Ground heaves as she leaps into the truck bed, flooded with relief until the truck slams on its brakes, mounds of dirt slamming into the windshield. The driver attempts to reverse but looks down to see the floorboards blown open, his foot severed. He is pulled violently through the floor of the cab as everyone else flees. Alone, Jackie climbs onto the, the cab of the truck to find the gas pedal intact. She hits the gas, throttling backwards, spinning out. She flows it towards the graveyard, but she can see the earth piling up in her rearview mirror as she burns a trail through the forest. The truck reveals the open grave ahead, catching in silhouette, er, the, catching the silhouette of the old gravedigger. Jackie throws herself from the cab, sobbing in relief and regret. He points his slippers in her hand and shakes his head. Jackie throws them into the coffin and reaches down to close the lid. The last thing she hears is the swing of the sh shovel before it all goes black. The old graver closes the lid on Jackie and begins to load dirt over the grave. He lets out an evil laugh, exposing rows of black teeth before resting his foot upon the gravestone. The slippers are still a perfect fit. Interesting. That's actually interesting. So, he got out of the grave. He wasn't an old grave digger. At least he might have been. He seems to have been a bit undead, maybe, and uh, murdered tons of people. Awesome. Oh, yeah, and this little quick one here as well. A group of trespassing teens visit the local graveyard and unearth a secret best left buried. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I think I'll call that an episode. Um... I can't quite say if that maybe is a teaser for a mo monster at some point, aka the Grave Digger. Would be really cool though. But, um, I just wanted to throw this in here. The 505 one, or SOS, but it says 505 here. Um, this one is something. I won't make a video on this exclusively, but I'll pack it on to the end of this video, I guess. 
but it gives you a bunch of codes. At first, I actually, I think I was one of the first people who found it. Thought it was a bug, because it was bugged at least for a time, I'm pretty sure. And it showed, I think, the icon for one of Jess's movies, and then the actual model was that of, whoops, of this one. So it's 3D model was this, and then its icon was one of Jess's movies. And the scenes were the same, I think. But it appears it turned into a, it's turning into an ARG, and it's getting real crazy right now. So, depending on when this is uploaded, it might already be over. But if it isn't, uh, you should you know go to the server and check it or Discord server and check it out. Um, yeah, a lot of people think it might end with a new monster being released. I'm not, I admittedly, I can't say that if, if that is true. But if so, that's awesome. So, either way, I think that's very interesting. Uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be the Grave Digger. Who knows? You know. A lot of people think I think it'll be or think it'll be Deathwire, that guy back there on the poster. You can barely see him, but he's there. Either way, though, hope everybody enjoyed, and uh, yeah, see you all in the next episode of VHS, where I go over more movies and discuss lore because this is unreasonably uh, entertaining to me. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Either way, though, hope everybody enjoyed the video. Bye.